all right guys uh, so today we're going to talk about the admin menu uh, oh, okay and we're going to continue from the previous video so in previous video we learned uh, as to you know uh, what is this admin menu hook uh, in case if you haven't then we'll just go ahead and read this so basically this admin menu hook using the add action allows us to add extra sub menus and menu option to the admin panel uh, admin panels menu structure it runs after the basic admin panel menu structure is in place okay uh, so basically if you go on to our admin area so this hook basically allows us to attach our custom function and uh, you know add a menu item over here like this theme option page that I've added and you can also add this sub menu item like I've added over here okay so this is what you can do with this admin menu and in the previous video we discussed that you can remove these menus depending on you know who is logged in whether it's an admin or it's a subscriber or who it is depending on their access you can show uh, you know n number of items meant from the admin menu okay so in this uh, tutorial we're going to learn using the same hook which is admin menu how can we add the menu options and uh, sub menu options as well okay so let's see so before we jump on to that let's also see what else it says it says this action mustn't be placed in admin init function uh, because admin init action is called after admin menu so if you go on to codex onto the action reference you'll see that we've got the list of the action hooks in the sequence that wordpress you know uh, defines it so if you look at that sequence we'll see that um, let's see Okay, let's just search it. That'll make it easier. Admin menu. Okay, we got it. So as you can see, admin menu is uh, defined before admin init. Okay, hence admin init should never be uh, defined inside of the admin menu functions because you know admin init is needs to come after admin menu. Okay, so that's what it's trying to say over here. That this action mustn't be placed in admin init action function because admin init action is called after the admin menu all right cool so let's go ahead and take an example of this uh, in the previous video we've already discussed where does it reside the admin menu hook resides in the menu.php so if you go to menu.php which is in the uh, wp admin includes folder you can see that this is the admin menu hook which has been um, you know defined over here okay so let's add an action with this hook so what I've done is I've added an action with the admin menu hook this time and um, I'm using my custom function add new menu items and under this custom function uh, once again yeah under this custom function I have got two uh, functions uh, that have been defined the first one is the add menu page so add menu page basically uh, adds the page uh, for your menu section so if you check this right here is basically uh, you know created because of this function so let's go ahead and comment this out first so that we see what is it that add menu page is giving us so if we refresh the page you can see that it's giving me only this menu option okay so let's discuss the parameters okay so it gives me the top level menu item which is the parent basically okay and this item can this menu item can have sub menus so this can have sub menus that we're going to create in a moment so the first parameter is theme options basically this is the text that the browser title shows when you click on it so if you hover over it it says theme options right so that theme option is coming on from here if we go ahead and change this to just theme you will see that the browser title is changed to theme yep okay so let's change it back to theme options similarly theme options page is basically this one 
right here this is coming from over here okay so this name is decided by what parameter you you know define over here this is the text displayed in the menu okay the next one is manage options so this is the user capability okay that you need to define and then the, this is the theme slug uh, sorry this is the slug of this uh, function okay so it's a unique identifier to identify this menu item so later on when we define sub menus we will need to pass this uh, because uh, to refer to our parent menu items uh, so that you know when we define the sub menu how will it know that which menu item it needs to go to should i go to settings menu sub menu should i go to custom field sub menu so this slug is basically going to help us uh, you know give uh, the sub menu page function uh, an option to uh, be decided as a sub menu of that of that particular menu okay now next is theme options page so this is optional this is a call callback function that outputs the content of the page so as you can see if we click on it we don't really get anything okay so if we want to get the input fields and and everything to be working then you know we need to have a callback function for that so which we can define later then you know display all the inputs over here and whatever we want to do on this page okay so next parameter is the URL okay um, so I've left that blank so that's optional okay and then it's hundred is the position of the item in the menu okay so that is basically you know going ahead and creating this menu item the top level menu item which is the parent menu item now we'll create the sub menu using the add sub menu page so if we go into the definition of this add sub menu page on on codex we'll see that the first parameter it takes or before even we discuss the parameter let's just read the description this function takes capability which will be used to determine whether or not a page is included in the menu the function which is hooked in to handle the output of the page must check the user has a required capability as well okay so we've got the first parameter as the parent slug so remember we talked about the parent slug so this is the slug we'll go ahead and you know put this here in the first as a first parameter so that uh, this uh, function knows uh, where the sub menu item needs to be created in, into this this uh, item this top menu item using the slug okay and the next one is page title so this is my page title so let's just first save and refresh so we can refer to it so you can see this is created the sub menu so this is the page title basically if you hover over it you can see wp auto control so you know we got that then next is the this part right here this title of the menu uh, text of the menu that comes from here and then the user capability which we can check later whether this user can go ahead and you know create this option or not and then it's wp auto up control menu what is this let's see it's a menu slug basically so later on if you want to hook something else to it this is a slug that we can use and then it's a callable function so callable function because similarly like this had a call callback function to uh, go ahead and output the input element and text or whatever we want to do on this page similarly we have a callback function for this sub menu item so that we can do whatever you want we want to do on this page okay cool so that's basically the job of the admin menu uh, hook is to allow us to create a menu page and sub menu pages uh, and in the previous video we have learned how we can also remove the menu items from the admin menu bar you know and we can remove one of these or or some of these depending on who is logged in whether it's a user a subscriber you know um, creator etc cool so I have my um, settings API tutorial if you go to my channel um, you will find that there's a whole uh, tutorial uh, which gives you really good information how you can actually create this uh, you know inputs over here and how you can uh, submit that information to the database how you can retrieve it so all of those op options are you know explained in that video so you can watch that video okay and you will be able to clearly understand how you can create the this particular page over here
Okay, I have not mentioned the sub menu option in, in that video, but uh, the main page that you can create and the content of this page is explained in that video. I will leave a link of that video in, uh, in the description below so you can check it out. Okay, cool. So I'll see you in the next video then. Thank you very much. Bye bye.